up everybody? Russ with RWG Research here. Um, this test chamber is pretty much complete. I uh, will show you what I did with the piston and how I did that. I'll try to do that quickly. Right now I'm actually doing a, a pressure test. Oh, today is uh, a better check. Uh, September 13th, the end of the day, starting of my day. Uh, here's the whole chamber. I do have it mounted on this plate. Oh, this is a popper update. I should start calling this a noble gas engine update. Alright, so I've got this thing under a vacuum. It's uh, sitting at uh, 20, 20, uh, 28. If this gauge is set up exactly correctly, it's probably not. It's probably more closer to 29 right now. Uh, inches of mercury. And uh, basically I just have this entire thing mounted on here. And I wanted to uh, kind of show you that. This is uh, one heck of a piece of steel. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did with, uh, with the cylinder there. But before I do that, I wanted to show you something else. Uh, today, I had to go pick this up. But we have gases! I'm pretty excited about this. Um, because this means I, I, really, I really don't have a whole lot more to do. And we can at least test this thing out. I've spent oodles and oodles amounts of time and hours into this uh, project already in the matter of a two or three week period pretty much um, really about a six weeks period so I'm pretty stoked uh, to the point where I I've gotten I'm pretty stoked about that and I hope you guys are too give me a thumbs up if you like it um, I will show you what's in this cylinder I have some uh, posted notes over my personal information I'd rather not to throw that out there so there is the uh, the information on the cylinder if you'd like to know the information on this side of the cylinder alright uh, this is uh, what they call an AM9 canister it's, uh, aluminum uh, doesn't really tell me much about it it's got a 2015 seal on it probably when it expires or needs to be tested. Um, basically, let's take this thing apart, but I was just really wanting to show you this in this video today. That's really why I wanted to make this video. Um, I'm going to set this over here so I don't knock it over and lose my gas. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Um, I do have this, like I said, under a vacuum. Um, the one thing I did do is I have a, a shim here to keep the piston from bottoming out. Um, it's just a piece of UHMW. I believe plastic of some sort and um, when I take it apart here I'll show you uh, the piston uh, well uh, the seal I originally told you I was going to use something different but I didn't I actually used the original seal and it, it worked pretty well um so let's open this thing up all right vacuum is gone pop this gauge off I got this all tightened down so break it loose here Um, I will probably end up pulling a vacuum on this and letting it sit all day and uh, we're going to see how it works out. I do have some better pictures of this on my website already. I updated that web page again. If you'd like to go to my website rwgresearch.com and click on uh, open projects and uh, it's right there. I'll have to update the little tree on the side of my website that's not updated yet I don't think. Site map. Alrighty. So, I'm just going to peel this off so you can see what it looks like. There you go. So, it is a concave steel cylinder head. Um, I should be able to, uh, oh, here, I'll pull this out so you can see. This is just sitting on here. Nothing, nothing real fancy. And it basically just allows the sense for when it bottoms out not to smash. You can see the uh, the amount of room I have on the side there. That is uh, air, if you will, in between there. Let me uh, pull this nut off the top. And I'm going to show you. I'll pull, pull, pull this thing out just a little bit and show you what it, uh, what it looks like. 
All right. So the back side's nothing special. Same thing as I had to take it apart. But what I really just wanted to show you was how I did the front. All right. I'll push it out to the back seal there. So basically, um, you can see how this is. It's flush with the original piston head, but it's turned down to where it's just bigger than the, uh, or just smaller than the original uh, aluminum head there. Now this is a steel head, and the reason I did that is because uh, Bob Rohner had mentioned using a steel head, and well, frankly, he's the only person I've seen anything working. If you can use aluminum and make it work, that's fantastic, but I haven't seen it done. Whoa, haven't seen it done, so I'm not going to uh, to do that. I'm going to use what I know and what I have information for. Alright, so that's basically all that is. I just kind of wanted to show you how that was sitting on there. And, uh... That's it. Simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and just reassemble this, pull my vacuum on it, and let it sit all night. I'll deal with that in a minute. I'm sweating out here. Woo! It's hot. Huh. Um, so other than that, I just, uh, like I said, quickly wanted to make this update video. And this is number seven, actually. And uh, show you the piston head, the full assembly, and the fact that the gases are actually here and we can do some testing. So, Russ with RWG Research. Man, I've only been out here for like 10 minutes and I'm sweating, so once again, uh, you know the quote. You can leave it in the comments if you want. Other than that, uh, testing will begin next week. Um, I've still got some circuit to work out. I've got a few piddly things I'd like to do with this. Um, by the way, the, uh, the bottom clear lens, I didn't touch it and it's holding vacuum and pressure just fine. So um, I did pressurize this up to about 100 PSI to see if it would hold steady. Everything was fine. Um, so yeah, that's it. Russ with RW Research. Leave me a comment. Um, uh, update on the uh, Intelligentry Popper Kit. Um, as it stands right now, it looks like you guys are voting to uh, get the money back and continue on. Uh, I'm going to say thumbs up to that. I'm not really going to, uh, to push that effort uh, for a little while. I want to test this and uh, if the kit finally does arrive. Maybe we'll use it. Maybe not. I've actually had offers from other people to send me their kit to test it. Probably because I got the gas. Um, so, there you go. And uh, Chuck, the other gentleman who does have a popper kit, has ordered the gases and will be doing the test. So, either way, I'm sure we will find out if the Intelligentry kit works or not. But right now, I'm sticking with Bob Rohner's setup. Um, thumbs up. And that's it. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you next week. And that's it. See you guys.